Greetings, welcome back to AI War Fleet Command. We're going to wrap up the Defender Mode today, and almost certainly in ignominious fashion. Now in between, it's only been about 30 seconds that have passed in game, but I've gone around and put up some more force fields to build, some more gravity turrets. We have some free, some because of the systems we've lost. We're down to six out of our original ten, with just over ten minutes gone by. Heavy beam cannons unlock the spider turret, so I'm just fortifying as much as I can so that my futile defense will be minimally futile. One thing I want to notice here, and this isn't even a wave, this is just a bunch of ships that came in from Willy Tonk. But if we take a look here, look at all the different things that they have. And that's going to play into what I think part of the problem here was. But we'll get to that later. I just want to do the post-mortem when we actually get to the post-mortem. So you can see we've got all these waves about to hit of various strengths. They're continuing to wrap up some things. And we're trying to mount a defense of some kind here. Which is probably not going to succeed. Nope. There it goes. Now we're out of energy, which is an even bigger problem. And there's a, they're about to hit Bespin. Yep, here they all come in here. I'm just going to pause this for a second, adjust the uh, detail, because we are getting some choppiness. You can see just, I mean, we've got 4,000 ships hitting us. So this is just patently absurd at the moment. And even in here, where I've got the fleet helping. Now our brownout's over, so that's going to help. I still don't think we're going to survive. We've got all kinds of... You know, we've got snipers, which are not going to do anything. Uh, it looks like they're running away now. They're trying to run away. We've actually... We've repelled an attack. Somebody call CNN. Well, maybe we have. See, these, these stealth battleships are a pain in the butt. But no. We're going to get rid of them, too. Okay, let's see how bad it is everywhere else. Hestia is absolutely getting pounded. And we sent our fleet into Kashyyyk, where they got stuck over here. This is probably going to hold in here. I'm going to... Well, maybe not. No, they're just going after our fleet. Once they focus down this way, we're all screwed. whole bunch of spire maws and whatnot. Hestia is just, I mean, the, the force here is just going to overwhelm us. So that's going to be a thing. We've got some some ships, but not enough to hold them off. So that, yeah, the, the force fields are down. Uh, it's just a matter of time there. But Chiriklo, you know, no, that's the first one we saw. That was gone too. Bespin is sort of this off-by-itself holdout for the moment. It's not going to last very long, but it's going to last. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in over here in V-Date. I'm going to build up some more, another space dock and whatnot, to have another ship production facility, because we're about to lose that one. So at least, hopefully, V-Date can supply itself and Kashyyyk for however long it lasts with some manner of ships. Triton's off here by itself, and is about to get hit with a couple waves, but holding up okay for the moment. Unfortunately, we still have over half an hour to go. So here we are in Bespin again. More ships have come in as they knocked out Chiriklo. Their ship just came over here and be aggressive. We've lost power again because we lost another system. Triton just went down, and now's where we're starting to get really stupid. Almost 10,000 ships are coming to V-Date in one of the waves. The other ships are only in the 7800 range. AI progress, 764 and rising. And... You know, we're just trying to fight a delaying action, which is not really working. You see all of these just powering in here. Bespin's gone. So we're going to continue fighting them in here, but this is probably a lost cause. So we've lost... What, what's left? Uh, Kashyyyk and Vide, and now Kashyyyk is gone. So all we have left 
is this system, which has no energy. So it appears to be only a matter of time. Once that next wave hits here, we're probably going to be screwed. And just before it came in, we got some lovely little border aggression. They got sick of fighting Kashyyyk. So enjoy this. This is the final battle. We're about to die and die badly. And now here comes the wave. We've got over 11,000 ships pounding this system. AI progress up to nearly 900. Even on average settings, cannot handle the strain of this fight. Thirteen thousand ships. Fourteen thousand ships almost attacking. The combined strength there is pretty much equal to a fallen spire wave. Look, it could just just ridiculous. You have lost. That's shocking. Okay, so we survived about a third of the time. So what went wrong? Well, again, all the different ship types, I think, is one clue. I think it was a really, really bad mistake to try to play this on Schizophrenic. Because if you play it on the standard waves, you're going to get more of like a whole bunch of one ship and some of another. I think that one of the things about Defender Mode that I didn't realize is that they give the AIs a bunch of extra ship unlocks that they wouldn't normally have at whatever AI progress level it is. I, d I can't say that for sure, but given the number of different like Spire Maws and Gravity Drains and Guardians and everything that they kept sending, that seems to be the case. And at least the announcement of the early waves, when I had a test game without Schizophrenic on, said like, you know, a thousand cloak ships or 400 of this type. So I think that they were not sending all of that mixed stuff if you don't have Schizophrenic on. That, that's probably a fatal mistake in and of itself. But then the other thing is, I don't think this mode, based on the history of it and the development, was ever fully balanced. I know they changed a bunch of stuff after it was initially released with the, or the Light of the Spire expansion. And they got some feedback. There were, there were a handful of people playing it, and they changed some things. And I never saw... I wasn't able to find any posts about Defender Mode on the official forums after that, unless there's something I missed. It just was never, you know, fully balanced. And I think there's trying to balance too many things against each other. I mean, I think it's a good idea for a mode, a faster, shorter game. But you don't have any of the grand strategy options you normally have in terms of how of limiting your risk you can't go gate rating because that doesn't matter they're going to come wherever they don't care about choke points you're stuck in the middle of the system and sort of at the mercy of where the rng sticks you with which directions you have to face your turrets to get to all the wormholes so it's really hard to plan a cohesive defense and they're attacking so many places at once regardless of how you do it can't like, I'm going to focus my fleet against this attack or that attack. I mean, it's sort of an everywhere at once thing. There's, There just isn't a lot of things that you can do. I understand why they took out warheads, you know, but that's still a thing. You can't, you don't have that option. You can see they've got over a thousand cloak ships in here along with everything else. So, like, if I was going to try to figure this out, I'd try it on level 7 with different, diff, different settings. Uh, probably schizophrenic off different number of planets, different types of maps, and, you know, eventually you might figure out a way where you could handle it. I just, ultimately, I don't think Defender Mode is that interesting to be worth it. Now, the thing is, if you were able to do a little bit better at the beginning, let's say I absorbed those first few waves. Well, they were getting a bunch of AI progress from hitting all of the, like, cryogenic pods and stuff that they give you at the beginning, the leftover colonists from the war. And we have a bunch of those on each planet. So if you can hold them off, then you can lower down that AI progress. You've got more resources, more research, more energy to deal with the later waves, which will also be somewhat smaller, relative term. So I feel if you could hold off the first couple sets, and then you'd probably start losing systems, but you could stall them and maybe run out of, run the clock out. That's sort of the way it needs to happen. Unfortunately, I was not, obviously, not even close to pulling it off. I ended up lasting just over 19 out of 45 minutes, so epic fail there. In any case, I'm not going to be returning to Defender Mode. Again, I'm not particularly against it, per se. I just, to me, it takes, a, takes out a lot of the stuff that was 
interesting about the that is interesting about AI war in terms of there's just not enough strategic elements. It almost seems to me like they should have just had you it be a timed thing, like how long can you survive? Just one system to defend and have small waves at first and then have them gradually ramp up and have the you know the strategy be so more about what do you build first and then what do you build next and what you know special ship types do you want maybe give you a choice of a few of them that kind of a thing like you know and then just be a case of how long can you last because you're ultimately going to lose anyway to me that might have been a more interesting way to do this kind of thing maybe not i don't know i'm just sort of spitballing but in any case you get to see an impressive wipeout by all these AI ships. Other than that, I just got my butt kicked. And next time we're going to be going back to the Fallen Spire with that uh, Pure Difficulty 7 campaign. So we'll be starting that up next time. But until then, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this brief excursion. Royal butt kicking and AI war will continue.